All right, so in this next video, we're going to do a little bit of custom styling for our website. Uh, in some cases, with, a cert with certain themes, the themes will certainly come with a lot of things already stylized. Uh, they, they'll have certain colors picked out and font types, font sizes. And those are some of the simpler things to change, although sometimes changing font size can get a little tricky because you also have to consider your line spacing and how some other things fit. So playing around with font size can trip things up sometimes, uh, but uh, you could see what you want to try to do. Um, Changing the font is also a little trickier. That's not necessarily controlled in the style sheet, and that would have possibly been pulling in a Google font. But generally speaking, as you're shopping for a theme, you want the general layout feel to be close to what you want. And then if you just need to modify a few things, maybe you're not so great uh, keen on this um, aqua blue, and you want to change it to more of a medium blue that would match your business colors then we can do a customization um, now what we have here is sometimes the theme in this case this one's called Cordillero sometimes the theme will give you some options to change colors and this one does <laughs> So you, this one has full customization, so I can pick a totally different color. So if I wanted to do 00, uh, let's see, AC67, is that the one I wanted, or 67AC? Yeah, so that's more of a medium blue. Um, I could pick, put in the hexadecimal color there, and then I would hit save. It also lets you write some custom SS here as well if you knew what you were writing. So as you get more prolific about writing CSS then these themes get easier to to change. Now this one even includes a fav icon so if I had a fav icon I wanted to show up in the browser window it lets you add that as well. So you always want to check that first if the theme lets you change colors then you could do that and use their option. Here's a, a logo place where I can upload the logo. So my guess is, uh, where will that, it'll probably go here instead of uh, having the text there. There's uh, stuff that we can put. There's an, a, a footer a widget that I can add. And fortunately, this one has pretty nice documentation links so it helps you set up the theme. Some themes aren't so good at their documentation and uh, for you that may or may not be a deal breaker uh, as to what theme you pick but it's nice to have a walkthrough documentation on how to set up each and everything and sometimes for images it even includes what are the appropriate dimensions for those images. Sometimes they don't give you that and you have to figure that out on your own and that can be kind of kludgy and frustrating. Uh, that's one of the drawbacks of WordPress is that everybody sort of has their own way of building the themes and you have to always kind of figure out how that theme works. Out, uh, works. So if you start building a lot of different websites in WordPress and you're using a lot of different themes, it can get to be a little bit mind boggling as to how they all work. Maybe the first time you set it up, not so bad, but then the next time you have to go back and change. You have to go, how did I do that again? So um, that's just where things are with WordPress. It's not too bad. and uh, You get used to it, and some of them do things the same more and more, but you'll still find some themes that just have all sorts of configuration settings all over the place, and they're not always in the same place. It seems like now in WordPress 4.5, you should always be able to find some kind of option for the theme in the appearance area. And that's even different than the, sometimes it'll show up in this customized option. Um, you'll have things added to that. And then sometimes it'll have its own tab. And then sometimes just with widgets, 
you'll be able to see that the themes have widget areas that vary and that's how you put things in certain places. Um, but in this case I've updated that color so let me refresh see what that ends up doing. So now some general things have been changed to blue although this uh, button didn't and so that didn't really change a whole lot. Oh, on the on the mouse over it changes it to blue so some of the links got changed to blue uh, but this I, this I had customized before to a gold I think I picked FF9900 so let's say there's something about the theme uh, that you have to do custom so you have you're gonna have options within the theme um, but if it doesn't it still needs some work you come here to editor in the appearance menu and usually the first file you'll see will be one of the style sheets. Now this theme happens to have a bunch of files that make it run. You can see that over here uh, the theme that we're editing right now is the one that I have activated and these are all of the PHP files that make it work. I'm not gonna play with those but I do want to look at the style sheets and this one happens to have three different style sheets but I think most of what we need is going to be in the basic style.css file so here's the window and this actually lets you edit the CSS file right here and you could go into FTP like with Dreamweaver find this file download it edit it uploaded it and it would do the same it's just kinda nice that WordPress brings this editor open within WordPress so we don't have to mess with the FTP. Um, so in some cases I've had I had this gold this one I had actually put in myself and I can change all the instances from the gold to this 00A67AC and every time I make a change then it should update. So let me I'm gonna with my cursor in here I'm gonna hit command F to open up the find tool and that's specific to Mac I'm not sure how that is in PC so if I wanted to FF9900 find every version of FF9900 I can do this and then I can have the 0067 AC and that changes that color to a blue now they even had another this was the original aqua blue <clears throat> that was in the theme and I had anytime I customize something I like to write myself a comment note in CSS that way I can see each and every place that I've customized the style sheet rather quickly sometimes these themes will be updated and when you install an update of the theme it won't overwrite your content because your content is saved in a database but the theme files will change in which case the code will overwrite any customization that you've done <clears throat> so before I do that if there was a update to this theme then uh, well first I would find out do I really need to update it just because there's an update doesn't mean you have to update it sometimes most of the time it's a good idea to do that um, but I'm gonna go ahead and I would go ahead and copy the whole style sheet and just bring that to a text editor and and paste it in there. So if I had text edit, I'd have a new file, create a new one, paste that in there, save that file in a place where I can find it later. Then I would go ahead and update the theme. And usually the way that happens is you'll see that this one is version 1.07 for the Cordillera. So maybe in a couple months or a year or so they come out with 1.1. And what you would do then is you would change away from you would upload the new theme. Well actually a couple different ways to do it. You could switch to a default theme just in the time being. I mean you can switch themes anytime you want. And then you would I could switch this to just this default 2016. Then on this one, I could delete this theme, the 1.07. I'm not going to do it right now. And then I would upload the new theme. 
come here and then activate this would then be 1.1 and then activate it and by that time I should be able to come back to the editor and see what's changed in the style sheet and there's a chance that the, the the styles are going to be changed and it won't be exactly the way it was before so you'll have to do a little bit of figuring out but if some things haven't changed for example if the whole link styles are all exactly the same then I can see where I customized it and then I could go ahead and add my customization back so it is manual it will take some time to do that but at least you wouldn't have to completely redo it uh, or at least you'd be able to quickly find it because you had these little notes to yourself as to where you had done custom edits. Now one thing you got to be careful of here, you'll notice there's a font family here and this Yanon, whatever this is, is probably a Google font um, but this isn't, um, you can't just change it here because we have to actually have that Google font embedded in our head styles. Um, and there's a good chance that it's going to be one of these PHP. Uh, it could be, I don't even know, I would have to sit and dig around for it, but there's a chance you might be able to find where those uh, fonts are installed with the theme. And sometimes the theme will tell you where the fonts are installed if it's pulling in a Google font. Um, but I would have to spend time digging through these PHP files to see if I could find it. Um, if I had the theme header, yeah, I don't know, I'm going to be just shooting in the dark at this point and I'm not seeing anything with the Google font, but in one of these you're going to see you should be able to find where the Google font is. Theme functions uh, and I might be easier to do a find and try to find Google not find not found there it's theme header theme functions no front page probably not I don't know I don't want to waste your time here single page doesn't look like it's there either I'm not sure if I'm gonna find it anytime soon I think it's going to be in one of these. Um, usually you find it. Anyway, so if you wanted to find it, you would have to find that code. You would need to change it in the PHP and you would have to come back to the style and change it. So changing fonts is a little bit trickier. You could also uh, go to your plugins. Possibly. This sometimes can work. It just depends if the plugin gets along with the theme but we could let's look up Google font as a installed plugin uh, oh that's an installed plugin so I need to go to add new plugin sorry that searched the plugins I have installed that didn't help much so this is the directory and let's do Google font and see what kind of results come up um, so this one, you could read these through. This one says it adds Google fonts to any theme without coding. Um, this one, Google fonts, easily add fonts from your Google font directory. So there's a couple of themes here that seem to manage Google fonts. Um, and they have one discontinued, and I'm not sure why they would have a discontinued one. They probably keep that up for a little while ago, but then they'll take it down eventually. So I went go and uh, take a I went go and install one that says discontinued on it but this one looks um, promising so you could download that and try it out and see if it actually lets you change the Google font on your on your website it's a good chance what it does is it actually adds the, the file to you uh, to the right place and then it also changes it in your style sheet or creates a second style sheet and then that'll override the current theme styles and that's how that one would work but essentially that's how we go ahead and modify current the you know anything that we have for that's the plugin one sorry if you want to edit the style sheet you can do it and if you're pretty well versed in CSS you can figure out what these things are and edit and edit them 
of course, any time that you do edit, you want to make sure that you don't break the code. If you forget some of these characters, all of a sudden your entire theme can break. And you might panic, but what you want to do is come back, make sure you wrote the, the code well. <laughs> If you're really good, uh, well not really good, if you really want to make sure or get some help, you could copy all of this and bring it into Dreamweaver and open up a blank CSS file, paste the code in there, and then you have Dreamweaver helping you out with the code. It can show you if there are any errors, it sometimes helps you pick things, uh, make sure you're spelling things correctly so you don't have those syntax errors on your style sheet. It's another option otherwise if you feel comfortable you can do it just right straight here but just like if I write this short code comment make sure you don't mess this up. Like right now if I forgot this asterisk or I put the asterisk outside maybe I did something like that. What's happening now is all of the rest of this code is now not going to be seen and your site's going to totally not work uh, and it'll it will scare you at first so you have to make sure that if you're doing any of the coding you've got it perfect and then you can update the file and then you should be able to see all your changes take place uh, on your theme And I don't even know what I changed to blue. I changed something. But I could probably go in and change a whole lot more. So I hope that helps with uh, explain how to do custom changes for styles for your themes. Again, to recap, sometimes the theme will have options that allow you to change things in one place. That's a lot of times that can be really helpful. If not, then you're going to likely have to go to the editor and open up the style sheet and you're going to have to one decipher how the original designer created the style sheets and then go ahead and make your changes and I would recommend that anytime you do make a change that you go ahead and make notes as to what those changes were so that way when you hit update file then you'll you'll know where those things happen and, and again as you're making those edits make sure that you're not making mistakes on the code because if you do all of a sudden it's gonna whack out and then you're gonna fret so you just make sure that you're writing code don't forget any of the characters common ones to forget are the pound sign the semicolon or you, if you're writing a custom comment you kind of get this these comment tags mixed up perhaps uh, so don't make that mistake and that's uh, the customization of WordPress